guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is kendall of the kendall's creations podcast today is july 8th and we're gonna talk about lots of yarny knitting stuff and of course my air conditioning decided to turn on right when i started recording so my apologies um nothing i can do about that but there's a lot to talk about um, sorry, there's something in my hair. So I have one finished object that I'm not allowed to show you. It's right there. I want to show you guys so bad, but I can't because it is a secret test knit. Um, all that I can say is the yarn that I used, which I'll do in the acquisitions portion, in that I had a lot of fun and it's great and I will let you guys know on my Instagram the second I'm allowed to. Um, but I currently can't, so I literally had to make sure it wasn't on my bed so I wouldn't be tempted to like show it to you guys. But I have one half finished object, which is still the library sock. <laughs> um there which leads into the web of Z sock, which has gotten some progress on it. I am working on the gusset decreases right now. Like I just started, the, I just started the gusset. Um, but so I have the whole leg done. I'm hoping to finish this soon. Um, because I want to finish this sock before I start my next one, which I'm going to talk about later. Um, so, in a perfect world, I'll be able to finish this over the weekend, but I highly doubt it because it's today, tomorrow, and I still want to do some things on my other whips. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. But, that's this whip. This is knit with, you guys know it, you've heard it, Forge Fiber Company's Spring Tunnels and Spring Green. And the pattern is by uh, Kitchen Sink. The Kitchen Sink Designs. I'm 90 percent sure it's designs. The Kitchen Kitchen Sink Shop. So close. Um, but yeah, so I did this. Um, and last week when I said that I did this wrong and that the pattern was only supposed to be on the front for the leg I don't I don't really know what's going on because in the pattern it says to repeat the texture until the end of the round meaning you would go all the way around but on the picture it's only in the front so I don't know which one it's supposed to be but we're just gonna go with this because I did what the pattern said and not what the picture said so yeah we're just gonna okay but that is this. I'm excited to use my sock blockers um, on this. I'm using my sock blocker for my secret test knit, which is this one. Which, oops. But you guys probably would have gotten that based off of the yarn anyways. But um, I'm, I'm excited to use them both at the same time. And uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, next whip. I don't know which one is in which order, so we're just going to go with this one first. So this is another Claudette tee, um, kind of. So the body portion of it is done. Uh, I just have to do the collar, like the neckline, and the sleeves. This is knit in Barocco Pima 100. I forget the color. I couldn't find it on like any website, and I don't know where the um, tag for it is. I know it's like 80, I, I wanna say it's like 84, 84 like 83 83 it's like 80 something 80 something it's the same something but it's this beautiful purple um this is the second hank that i wound up i have a whole bunch of ends to weave in before i start to pick up the stitches for the neckline because i don't want to have to weave them all in at once and if you guys if this yarn looks a little familiar that is because this 
was a whip. It was a My Little Secret Crop by Jesse Made Designs. I had like this much done. And then I decided to rip it all out and make it into a Claudette tee, which I have. And I just need to do the second, not like second half, but I just have to do the finishing touches on it. And then it'll be done. Um, I really like the Claudette tee pattern by, it's by Bexnet. Um, I already have one finished one over there, which I showed y'all last week. This one, and then I have plans for like four more, but I need to use my yarn before I buy yarn because I'm trying to be a good girl about it, and it, it's not working, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, so on to my next whip, which also might look familiar because it is yet another Claudette tee. Um, I suck at the neckline with these, I realized. Um, I'm trying something different for this one because I asked the designer about it. Sorry, Discord. Um, I asked the designer about it and she gave me some tips so I'm going to try them out on this one. But I didn't realize how janky it was until here and so I sent her pictures of this and she like gave me some tips. I don't, like, I don't mind it. It doesn't make that big of a difference to me. Like, I still think it's, this is so freaking cool. Uh, this is same thing except there is a collar I mean neckline not collar this one has a neckline on it uh, no sleeves but we're working on it this is knit with lion brand Pima cotton in rain cloud I'm pretty sure that's the color um, one thing I did notice though is the lion brand Pima cotton is a lot like sturdier of a fabric than the Barocco Pima 100 like versus like this wiggle like this is just like a lot thicker I think this yarn is a little um plumper and I use the same needle size for both of them um because they're technically the same weight and I think there's this, there's the same gauge but this one the Barocco Pima 100 is definitely like a thinner more airy fabric and this one is slightly like thicker and denser um it's not like noticeable it's not like I mean it's noticeable but it's not like bad and like there's not like a size difference almost at all like I'm trying to line it up it's not working okay there is a bit of a size difference but that's just because I made this one longer than this one but like other than that like with the number of stitches like there's not a size difference if there is it's not very noticeable or I'm just not observant at all both could be true so I don't really know what that's about I'm not mad about it but I just found that very interesting and so yes that is that I am out of breath I was talking way too fast <laughs> um let me catch my breath and then this next whip is kind of um weird so as you guys know I knit a lot of socks and with a lot of socks comes a lot of sock scraps and I was trying to think of ways to use my sock scraps because like I don't really like scrappy socks um <laughs> I just don't like how not cohesive they are and so I was trying to find something else to use my sock yarn for and I was scrolling on Pinterest just I, I was probably looking at Sims stuff because I play the Sims and download way too much custom content but somehow I got an idea to make little like doll clothes out of my sock scraps because I have this really small crochet hook it is like so freaking tiny like it's meant for finger weight <laughs> fingering weight yarn and so that's what I've done this is gonna be a little cardigan and I just think it's so freaking cute um this is fiber for the people's non superwash base in bullion uh, I knit the back pan I'm um, not knit I crocheted the back panel which is just like a rectangle and then I did the two front panels which are rectangles with 
a little bit of decreasing here to get almost a v-neck and then I come by joined them at the top with just like slip stitching through both stitches through both sets of stitches on each side and then I just have stitch markers holding this in place because I wanted to get like approximate like I wanted to see how big I wanted the sleeves to be like circumference wise and not have everything just flying everywhere so I just kind of pinned them in place and this is the start of <laughs> the sleeve it's so it's, they're so tiny um but the sleeve is going to be worked flat and then like wrapped around <laughs> it's like so hard to show because it's so little and then like wrapped around like this um and I'm thinking about selling some of these um I'm just using like 12 inch doll measurements like standard 12 inch doll I don't know I just like googled it and went based off of that and so I might make them for like varying sizes um, and just sell them because I, I need one money to buy more yarn <laughs> and two I, I need to get this yarn out of my stash and like this just gives me so much serotonin seeing like how tiny it is because like I don't have enough yarn to knit something for like an actual human baby so why not make one for like a little doll so I can still get the like oh my god it's so cute and so tiny rush and working up so fast because I did the back panel I had to redo the back panel like three times because I just wasn't happy with the sizes I first it was like too narrow and then it was too wide so I just like married the two in the middle and I like this size a lot but I did both of the front panels and the back panel like when I decided this was the size I did I did it in a day so all of this is like one day one day's work but I've been working on this for like two or three days because I had to rip out the back panel three times and I got frustrated and then I decided you know what we're just gonna stop for a little bit um but so that is this it is so stinking cute and I have so many sock scraps and I'm so excited to like make <laughs> little doll things um I've been looking on Etsy for like other doll clove ideas and I think it would be so cute because I have like a lot of yarn in some of them like it's just barely not enough to make another pair of socks I think like with this one I knew I couldn't make another pair of socks but I think I'm gonna weigh one maybe two more of them and just see how much I have because if I have like over 55 grams I think I'll be able, like I might just make a pair of shorty socks like not shorty shorty but like shorter socks um with those two that I'm looking at that you guys can't see but and then with the ones that I know there's not enough to make socks for like so you, you know like baby sleepers like the little button up or zip up sleepers what if I made those and this little yarn that would be so cute <laughs> and I found these button like these little miniature like five millimeter like clasp buttons on Etsy they were so cute I almost bought them but I didn't have anything to button them to so I didn't aren't you proud of me <laughs> I'm like I'm just thinking about so many cute little things I can make and I'm so excited this is definitely gonna be a good way for me to use up my sock scraps and again also get that like oh my god it's so tiny so cute serotonin ah <laughs> um but yes that is that that is my last whip I have some acquisitions one of them isn't here so I'm gonna talk about that first I was on Instagram and I think it was polar bear yarn I think it was her I'm like 98% sure she was the one who posted on her story that somebody was having a sale and so I did what any person does when they see a yarn sale and I went to the Etsy shop to see what yarn I had. And the Etsy shop is Kai's Crafts and Crap. I'll link it in the description. And I got the Raspberry Beret hand-dyed yarn. 
it is so pretty I will see if I can put a picture up over here somewhere but it is so pretty I got it in the sock weight like fingering weight I'm gonna make some socks because duh and it's supposed to get here next week um it was supposed to get shipped a little while ago but she had some inventory errors and like I it's completely fine with me like I don't it's not that I don't care but I understand what it's like to like miscalculate stuff and she was super super sweet and went above and beyond and like dyed my oh, <laughs> dyed my yarn order like just like for me and like made it like just one skein instead of doing it like a batch because she felt bad that like I bought something and she technically didn't have it I would definitely recommend purchasing from her because even though there was this little blip she handled everything so well and again went above and beyond to like make everything right and I honestly like it's not that I didn't care because obviously I want my stuff that I paid for but I was more than happy to exchange it if it was too big of a worry for her and she assured me that it wasn't and I just thought that was really sweet and I'm most likely gonna end up buying more from her <laughs> um and I definitely recommend you guys too the sale is still going on it's 20% off and the yarn is really cheap um and it's beautiful she has this one bomb pop yarn which you know is like red white and blue which kind of eh, given the state of America right now but like bomb pops who doesn't love a bomb pop you know the, the nostalgia of a bomb pop like yes <laughs> so I got that that's coming in next week sometime hopefully before I leave for vacation if not I can text my neighbor and ask them to make sure sorry there's M&Ms on my bed <laughs> and ask them to pick it up for me but onto the acquisitions I do have um this is for my test knit I ordered the yarn because I did so this is from less travel yarn I'm gonna use the other label because it's lighter um, this label is for this yarn uh, this is in there all of the yarn is in their Arcadia DK which is 100% merino 180 yarns per 50 grams so I got two um, so I got 100 grams so yeah I'm making socks this is the color Hectate from the Enchantment Collection, which was my main color. And so, yes, I'm making DK socks. Love them. Ugh, they're great. Why did I not start this before? Anyways, so that's Hectate. And then the contrasting color is Gossip Column, Gossip Column from the Outspoken Collection. And they go absolutely gorgeously together. I love how they go um some of the other test knitters also used tactate for one of their colors and like it could just go with so many things and there's so many amazing color combinations that you could do and i want to like get more <laughs> but i won't i'll refrain maybe <laughs> but i got the yarn in hanks and i wound them up obviously as evidenced by the hank sized ball bands but they came with this oh my god this is so cute it's just so it's so cute i don't know where to put it i have like really bad commitment issues when it comes to stickers i don't want to put them somewhere because like what if i what if like even on my computer like what happens when i get a new computer like i did that with my old computer and i lost all of those stickers like i don't i don't have them so i just i need to find like i don't know what to do and so i think i'm just gonna keep them all forever and never stick them to anything <laughs> But this is so freaking cute. Oh my god, I love it. But off of that rant about a sticker, I have a fun idea that I'm kind of really excited about. Um, so as you guys know, I have my own sock pattern. And I have an idea for another one. Um, I have a lot of yarn in my stash that I need to use. And I'm hoping this will... Be a way to either use so let me talk first so I want to do a sock 
that has I don't want to give it away but like a designed heel flap and toe so like if these were my colors the cuff leg and foot and gusset and stuff would all be knit in this and then the heel flap and just the toe not the cuff maybe the cuff I don't know I think I'll put the option for the cuff but I'll let my test knitters decide if they want to do the cuff or not but I'm not doing the cuff because I want less ends to weave in <laughs> in this color and I think it'll just look really cute and I'm super excited and again I feel like it'll also be another good way to use up some of my scrap yarn I just have to go through the bits that I have because I want to like make sure I'm not mixing fiber contents and to be fair what I could do is use two yarns that are in my stash like have the, one of them be the main color for one pair and the contrast color for the other pair so then I get two pairs out of both sets out of both um hanks I just have to see what colors I have <gasps> oh sorry I just got uh just got a little idea oh that would be so cute um <laughs> and I just think that'll be like a good way to use them and now I have an idea for what I'm gonna do and so now I think I'm gonna do that but I'm not gonna tell you guys and you guys will just have to follow me on Instagram and see but I'm casting that on right when I finish this sock because I need to finish this sock because this sock has been on the needles for literally ever and so I need to finish this sock which I'm hoping to do soon and then I can cast on that sock I still have to like write down the pattern and everything and like get it all on paper and so that's gonna happen first but yes my phone is running low on battery so that's it's way of telling me to shut up and to stop rambling but thank you guys so much for coming to this podcast episode um please don't get for, to like and comment and subscribe and all of that jazz it all means so much to me my instagram and etsy will be linked in the description as always as well as any yarn or patterns that are mentioned and i will see you guys in my next video whether it's podcast or not i don't know because i never know when i'm gonna make a video that's not a podcast um so I will see you guys when I see you.